So, last time we um, left this, we, the maze was sort of generating. So if I, let's run it. It was sort of generating, but then went, oh, I've got some breakpoints in there, hang on. Let's take the breakpoints out. So it's sort of generating, but then it went. Bleh. So now I've done, I've done a couple of changes. Um, so I'll show you what I've done since the uh, since the stream. So we're forgetting about those because they haven't changed. Oh, did I check it in? I must have checked it in. Hang on. Oh yeah, I checked it in. Let's go back to master. Oh no. Oh well. Right, I'll show you what the changes are anyway. So, I have made an another routine. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? So it's in where these workout locations are. There we go. This is get get maze um, get get set maze location. So where we was um, looking at the maze array and was doing I and I and Y D E X and all that, I got a bit frustrated with it. So I made a routine that basically you send it the X and Y. It then works out where that position is and then returns back what it is in the accumulator. And then we can set the carry. Oh, the carry is the flag that does either set or get. So this is a two two way routine. We can tell put something there and get some from something from there. And so the way it works is we push the status to the stack because we're gonna do some things that are gonna affect the status. Store X and A away, so we can uh, use them later on. Then we work out the map location. Then we get the X on into Y, pull back the status, test if it's carry set. If it's carry set, we are going to store what was in the accumulator into the location, if it was clear, we're going to load it and then use it. So I have used this in many different places. Look, so I've now changed it that it uses this all the time. Yeah. So now we know exactly, exactly what's what we're storing. All right. So instead of doing um, load X. <laughs> should tell me to start with you know there's that oi john pay attention to chat thing use it so so we've got a a now routine that allows us to basically say this is x this is y Tell me what's in that spot or put that in this spot. So we're using it now here. So still the same thing, load X, load X and Y, but we increase. <laughs> oh dear. I'm not going any higher than that. Anyway, so we're using this routine now to set and get the maze array. I've also, I've also got a debug. So if I put this on, what happens now is we get to see the array. Yeah, we get to see the array. So if I press F6, that is the array. That is the maze array. So we can see what's going on. Yeah. 
So we forego the screen and we look at what the maze array is. So as you can see, we've got the we've got the boundaries set. Look, and then what happens inside. And this is this is what the array represents when inside. Forget the colours because we know it don't work. So I've put a debug uh, system in there to allow us to interrogate what the array is doing if we're not too sure what's happening. And also, I because I because I have got one of these. I don't know if you can see that because of the light. There you go. You remember my birthday present, where I can write on this. And then it converts it into a PDF. Well, here you go. One PDF of my writing. So, just to recap, this is to recap. Yeah. Um, let me, uh, let me, let me, let me. With. To recap. Yeah. So our directions, we've got indexes, which is here, and then we have the bit representation here, which is in the array. So if we've got a direction of zero, that's left, three, up, two, down, one, right. And then we've got the bit representation of that direction. We also store in every character what is the current cell's directional status. So can it go left? Can it go down? Can we go up? Can we go right? And what the next character status is now you've got to remember the next character is the next character in that direction <laughs> prison escape plan <laughs> so this is representing the four cells around the cell so this one here is saying is the cell to the left available? Is the cell down available, up available, and to the right available? Why you cell? Because it's going to be a maze, and each section is a cell. So if you've got four walls, it's a cell. <laughs> so this is, remember, this is what the matrix is eventually going to build. Then our character placement, based on what is in the maze matrix, <laughs> is um, that if the current cell has got bit one set and bit eight set, um, sorry, bit th bit three, bit set, and then we know that everything's available, so we put a space there. If bit one set. Hello, self, cello, cellophane. Hello, cellophane. Yes, we are create. We, we're in the middle of creating a maze game in assembly. So, if bit one set, then we know we're going left and we can't go up. So it puts the block, the wall, going up. Yeah. <laughs> If it's bit three, yeah, three, then it means that we're going up, but we can't go left. Now, if it's anything else, it means that we can either go right or down. So we put the corner thing on. And then right at the very bottom, which didn't quite um, try and come across, is that these are the boundaries, yeah? So this is our crib sheet, and I'm going to be making more of these. So when we're doing stuff, when we're doing stuff, we're going to be writing it down on the crib sheet, which then at the end of the stream, I just I just go and it and it creates a PDF for me. So we'll do all that, and so we'll have some sort of crib sheet. So this is going to be put into the GitHub Git, um, Git when I've created it, so we know what's going on. But I'm going to keep it here so we know what's going on. Now the problem, the the other problem I found we found was the characters weren't coming on. John here. Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream. Oh, cellophane. Thank you very much for following. Now I've got to do this because my bot doesn't know how to do it yet. 
But there you go. Hey, changed. Right. So last week we had a problem with the characters, these two in particular, that they were they were going the wrong way around. And what I found out was <laughs> because I was I was looking at my code that I did when I was a kid, trying trying to understand what 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 was I doing? I figured out that the cell that the character that we're putting is not the character for the direction. So here, one, as we know, is going right. So we was putting a, a left wall down because it was going right. Well it's not it's not that's not the case. We are putting the top because what's what happening is we're eliminating the top. And same with the left. So what I did was I just swapped the numbers around. Yeah? I just swapped the numbers around. So when it runs, so I've turned debug off, I've turned the debug off now. So when it runs, it should look something similar like look, it is building a maze. This looks like a maze. It's broken, but it looks like a maze. So, the, the, the problem we've got now is it goes wrong. And it seems to go wrong when we get to the floor. So we need to check that out. <laughs> it looks like a space invader. <laughs> Alright, let's run it again. Let's see what else we get. We should get not the same thing. There we go. See, it's, it's thrown a fit there. So, we've still got a problem with the builder. Yeah? So, um... What we need to do is we need to work out what's wrong with it. Now, I think I do know what's wrong with it, but I was waiting until the stream to do it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to put... We're going to put a break point here. Yeah? We're going to put a break point there. And we're going to watch it do it. All right? We're going to watch the maze build. Yeah? So if I do shift and into C64 debugger, we're going to watch it do it. We're not bothered about the array at the moment because I think the array is right. But we're going to... Out, mate. What's up with you? Mm -hmm. You've been out. You're not going out again. Right. So we are going to use this view. So as you can see, we've got our first two points already set. So remember the red, the red, um, I think that's red. I think that's red. That red point is where, where we're going to, and this is where we've come from, yeah? So I'm gonna press F11, which is gonna loop through, cycle at a time, making this maze. So here you go, F11. And as you can see, it's made it into a space because we have come from the right and we're now we're going up. Yeah? And remember, we've only got two walls, left and top. So it can't be any it can't be the left side because we came from the right and it can't be the top because we've just gone through the top, so it has to be a space. Yeah? So if we carry on, so we'll do another one. So it's coming back on itself. So as you can see, this cell here now has got um can I zoom in? Can I zoom in? Will it zoom in? Nah, that doesn't... Does that work? Nah. We'll go back to the other one. Go back to the other one. Whoa! Is that me because of me being messing? <laughs> Never mind. Forget those. In fact, we'll run it again. There we go. So F10, F11... So as you can see, so this is every cycle. So it's randomly picking. So it's evaluating where it can go. So here, we're going, we can go that way, we can go that way, and we can go that way. But we can't go that way because that's where we've come from. So it randomly picks out one of those three directions and then does it. So I'll just get it to a point where I think it's going to happen. Here. Now. This is where I think it's going to happen because here there is nowhere to go. Can't go there. Can't go there. Can't go there. Can't go there because that's where we come from. So what it should be doing is backtracking. But I don't think we, we haven't got that code in there. So when I press F11, 
it just continues right it's just overwriting where we're going not never heard of that game I'll have to go look for it so if I keep my finger on it right so it hits the bottom and then goes wrong so we need to understand what is going on down here yeah because that should have not done that that should have said oh there's something there right we're going but before we do that we need to do the backtrace we need to do the backtrace and the backtrace is where we we know how many exits there are because we've evaluated it right we've evaluated it here in this routine here so we've worked out what's behind us what's beneath us what's above us yeah and so and what's in front of us yeah so that's in front behind beneath above so we have a number of exits so to speak but the problem is you know we then we do a random number and then pick one of those exits but the problem is if it's zero what do we do if we've got no exits we should stop and we can do that by just doing this so if I just put RTS there yeah and take the breakpoint out wherever it is do F5 Oop, wrong one F6 there see it stopped there we've come out and you know we stopped so we need what we need to do is we need to say right I've stopped there so I need to backtrack until I've got an exit so here would backtrack one it would reevaluate it and say oh I've got an exit up here and then carry that way carry on that way so what we need to do is let me put the breakpoint back there in fact I'll no I'll leave that there so I'll go back to not there not there not there not there here so we'll take that out so our plan is we're gonna load where we are right we're gonna load the X and Y of where we are I want to tell it I want to read that location we read the location we mask off we mask off the current cells profile and so we've only got what's around us yeah we divide the whole lot by 16 2 4 8 16 so that brings down the evade that basically where we can go from our current spot based on what's happened around us yeah we then store it in the direction so if you think about it when we get stuck there is only one way out and that is what's in here there's only one way out and then we tell it move to the next location so move to the next location is down here which basically evaluates the direction so the direction would be if we've moved let me get me if we've moved left into um, an area where we can't go the only direction we can go is right the which is backing out yeah so that's what that little routine should do is it should backtrack until we find a cell that has an of an available exit yeah so we've got the break point in I think so if we do if we do it again so now when it gets stuck we should backtrack ready 
So I'm going to press F11. So we're just going to let it run through until it gets stuck. Right, turn, turn, turn. No, it turned out. Turn the wrong way. Come on. You're not. There we go. It's backtracked. Did you see it? Now it's backtracked because I think this line down here is the where the border is, and we can confirm that by putting the board, putting the array debugger on. But look, it backtracked. Now it's stuck again, so it should backtrack back down here, which it does. Then it should backtrack back here because there's no way out, yeah, which it does. Now there's a there's one available exit. It can't go that way because that's where it came from but it can go this way. So it should pick that, and it does. So now we've got the back tracker. Look, so it's back tracking. And it's doing it pretty well. That's doing it pretty well. Hey, up. <laughs> hey. Go on, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Get in there. <laughs> Get in there. Right. So, from that, there's a... I can see a couple of issues from that, yeah? So the map generation is working, right? Just by putting that in, it suddenly started working. <laughs> but there is a couple of issues. One, we've got this here and this here, and we seem to be a row too, too far down. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't I don't pretend I did come last once. I just didn't want to come last again. <laughs> right, so we got a problem still. We've got two rows here and we should only have one and we've got and we don't we seem to have these two little ears here. So right, let me put debug on and see what's going on. Um Right, so F6 again. Right, so, right, this is the matrix. This is the grid matrix. So we're not putting the characters on the screen. That's turned off. We are looking at the matrix. And I'm just, oh, I see why we have ears. And I see why we've got an extra row at the bottom. Right, so we're not... We're not actually going all the way down to the bottom of the screen. So that needs to be sorted out. And we, oh right. We're missing two there as well. Right, let's sort that out. Let's sort that out. So that's in the initialization of the maze. Uh, initialize the maze array. So we wipe it out and then we do the top row and so it's the bottom row max max y so but it's 39 that's strange 39 Oh, that's column, isn't it? Max Y. What am I doing? What am I looking at? Max, Max Y is not 30. Oh, it's 23. Ah. Right, so that's the reason why it wasn't 
down there, so we now need to do the left and rights. Um, so we are doing max y to 1. Oh, it's to, oh that needs to be 0, because we're doing a dx in front of it, don't we? Right, let's see if that works. Right. His. All right, right. So we are looking. We are looking okay. That is now complete. So if I press F11, you'll see how the the maze array is being built up. Look. And that's this is this array is what we're going to use for navigating the maze. We're not using the screen to navigate the maze. We'll be using the array. And also, it means that then we can use the array to reproduce the screen as well, right? So, let me um, let's turn debug off. So if we do it again, so we should get a fully fledged maze. So we should get a fully fleshed maze. So I'm going to press F11 and I'll keep my finger on it and we'll just see if it works this time. So we should end up with a, a row at the top, a row at the bottom and two rows at the extremes blank because that's where the edge of the maze is. So we should It's doing it. It wasn't a fluke. Come on, get in there. That is a complete maze. Right, I've got to see. I've got to see this running in real time. Right, let's take the breakpoint out. Right, let's see how fast it really is. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. So. This is what I've done now, yeah? So how fast was that? Let's get a stopwatch on this. Um, stopwatch, where is it? Stopwatch. Timer, here we go. Right, F6. <laughs> Two seconds to build a maze, right? That's what. That's how. That's how fast it's doing now. Now the code. So we've got the code here where I wrote it as a kid. Yeah. So. So we're doing it. Act. We actually takes two seconds. We're making a bigger one. Right. Let me reset the counter, and we'll do it again. Go. It takes longer. There you go. 16 seconds to build that maze. See, age comes wisdom, look. We've now made it faster by a factor of eight. Well, it's not eight, it's 800% faster. That's it, 800% faster. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Wow, that is quick. 
<laughs> that is quick. Right, so, at the moment now, um, the system is just looping because it's it's um, it's evaluating where it is, which is right at the very start because we we end up we should end up back where we start. So it's evaluating where we start. It's saying I've got nowhere to go. It's looking for the previous direction, which there isn't any because it the first point will have no directional inf inf uh, uh, instructions. So it's stuck there. So what we need to do is we need to test now for when we have got no direct, when we've got nowhere to go, we need to test for our direction. Uh, we need to test for how many directions there are. And if we've got no nothing and we are back where we started, that's when the maze should finish. Right, so we are talking here. So we have a start and end point. We have a start and end point. Where do we put where do we start? There. This is our start and end point. So um let's make let's make some more Who? She's just just checking on the boys. Right. So um, we have a start and end point. Now I'm just wondering. Um, yes, if we store this in position X and store this in position Y, so position X and position X and position Y is the character, it's the player. Right, so these are player variables, and this is the maze variables. So, because we're setting position X and position Y to the same places where we start, we can use that as our uh, as our test. Right, so these are all the variables for the maze generation. So, let's get in there. So we are here available a available yeah no vex uh, no available exits so this is where we're testing for no available exits here but before we before we uh, evaluate the next cell, we need to make sure that we're not back at our starting point. Is everything okay? Okay. So we need to um, test um, the current location. So. Let's do this. Not that. This. Right, so. We're going to, let's test Y first, seeing as it's there. Test Y with pos Y, yeah? Branch if not equal to carry on. Uh, building for a better word to that 
So if it is equal to position y, then cpx position x branch is not equal to carry on building. Now, if and I'm just checking, I'm just checking that it's a JSR into this, isn't it? Yeah, JSR build maze. So if we are if we are back to base then we do an RTS and out we come. I think that's right. I think that's Where's my where's my notes? Where's my notes? So, yes, if if we are back at base and there's no actions, then we finish the building. The game then connect. I've, I've written the then the game commences. <laughs> right. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll put a break point. So we haven't got a break point there. We will put a break point here. So effectively, we should come back out the maze. So F six. Get in there, get in there. Right, so we've now built our maze. We built our maze and we've done the test that allows us to exit from the maze building routine. Get in there. Right, so we need to We need to f work out if different sizes work. So I'm going to take that out because I want to don't want to mess around. But let's see if different sizes work. So let's make our start point. Um, Four, four, right, F6. So this should start in the top corner. There you go, it start, that's where it starts, where my, then it, that's where it's finished, good. Right, so the test is, can we make this, so if we do 20 by 12, will it work? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Um, 20 by 24. Nice. So effectively, you can do any size. So if I do 10, no, uh, 39 by 12. There we go, this is what we want. Right, so we've got a fully functional maze that can be set as well. So this this will allow us now to this will allow us that when we do easy, medium, hard, that we can set different size mazes for those um, those difficulties. So we could have easy, media, uh, easy could be a, a 10 by 10. Let's do a 10 by 10. Does 10 by 10 work? Oh yeah. And then have um, medium. Yeah. 
Howdy, Doxter. So, this is the full-blown maze. So, this is the maximum size we can do. Now, let's see if we can... Um, what we need to do is we need to set up our start and end points. Now, what did I put in my notes for start and end points? <laughs> um... Oh, right, okay. So the start point is always 1, 1. And the end point is... Oh, the end point is the max... Yeah, that's... That's what I'm thinking, right? Because the way the way I did it before, I'm going to run this once and then I'm just going to leave it running. So, 23, 39. So, so 16 seconds seems such a long time. <laughs> right. Oh, that takes too long. Right, so we're starting in the top corner here. And we finish in the bottom corner. So that is... We'll, we'll keep with that philosophy. That we start there, finish there. So we'll, we'll keep with that philosophy. So I've got in my notes that the way I wrote this was we faffed around with the matrix. We faffed around with the matrix. So what I'm going to do now is... Um, I want to um, start splitting this up because at the moment we've only got the the one file. So let's start splitting this up. So I want to create a new file, and this is going to be um, game maze, for a better word. So import. Import once, and we're going to take all the maze functionality out. So initialize maze, so we'll grab that. So we'll put that in there. Uh, get maze location. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. What forgot one thing? One well, forgot one thing. One I need to do is dot namespace maze. Put that there. Don't want to make this too big. Right, so initialize maze, so we'll grab that as well, because that's maze, workout maze array. Workout screen location, uh, no, 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 no. So we'll cut that away, and we'll put that in here as well. Uh, what else? No, colour no. Build maze, that can definitely go in there. Delete that. Put that in uh, there. Right, so let's create another one called um, Game Utils. Do the same thing, Ash import once. Hello, John here. Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream. Ho! Oh. Memphis, Memphis Toe, welcome to the stream. Thanks for following.
Oh, can I see that? No. Can't see your name. Hang on. Du, 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 du. Uh, good name for me to completely spell wrong. Yep, yeah, I spelt it wrong. Right, so that should be it. M P M E P H Toe. There we go. Right. <laughs> hey, Microman. Any news yet? Any news? Yes, we are waiting. Right, so dot namespace again. Utils. Yeah, he's looking out the window. <laughs> Good man. Right, so these can be utilities. These. Let's take these out, put them in there. Right, um, what else have we got? Update screen location. Yes. And we'll do the random as well. We'll do the random as well. Put that in there. Right. So we need some Right, so that's our game. So this is now maze. In fact, in fact, we could We can put that in here. That should be okay. Where's the jump? Where's the jump? Right. So we need we need our IO constants. Put them in there. And there. We need another one. Game storage. So And then dot namespace and storage. So we'll grab all the storage stuff now, uh, which is all this stuff here. Um, put that in there. They're the constants, so we need another one called game. Did you like the fill? Yes, I did. It was I, I. I've used it again, mate. I've used it again. I quite like that. Uh, game constants. So. Import. So we're doing import once because we're going to be importing these files many, many, many times in different files. So you have to tell the assembly you only want to import them once, and it only imports them the first time it sees them. So dot namespace. 
uh, constants, we'll call it that. And we are going to put, I uh, don't need that, we are going to put all these, oh can't, can't have the namespace. That's fine, we can't have the namespace. That's okay, we will just do it without it. Remember, you can't put a constant in a namespace. It won't allow you to do it. It has a fit. Right, so we are going to do this. Yeah, so at the end, we're going to put hash import. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Got distracted there. Game constants. Next one is going to be game storage. Next one is uh, game maze. And then game utils. Right, so here, storage. Right, so we need to find we need to find all the met so we'll find in fact we'll go through them one at a time. So find uh maze Maze array, that's in that's in constants and we haven't imported it in yet. Right, so we should end up with few right, so storage 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 and it's not liking it because we've not imported it. There we go. Storage, 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 storage. Available exits. Do, 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 do. It's the only problem when you get so far and then you have to split it up. You've got to do all this. Especially if you're going to use namespaces. But I prefer to use the namespace because then we can use the same variable again in a different module. Because the namespace would determine where it's, where it's located. Right, so that's utils. And we have not imported that in yet. Oh, yep, yeah, that's in there. Right, let's just finish this off. Um, update screen, that's in utils. Do, 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 do. Oh, we should be that far away from the bottom. This is the big one. And that's in utils as well. Right, so to get rid of those red lines at the end, we need to import game utils. Hash import game utils. So those red, yep, they've gone. Right, game utils. So this is storage, storage. Storage, storage. Uh, da, 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 zero page. Ooh, is that in storage? No, that's in constants. Okay. 
Right, let's import const let's import the game constants. Let's get rid of some of these errors. Ooh. Right, should get rid of some of those errors. Uh, we'll hash import game storage. That should get rid of those. So what we got left? This one. Workout maze ray location. Well, that's in maze, isn't it? So. So we'll import game maze. Game maze, and we are going to go um, that. Now, what's wrong with this? Is already defined where? Is already defined where? No, it's not. I don't believe you. It seems that strange that all of them are, are doing that. Anyway, we'll move on to the next one. So storage. that so this is storage so that is in constants so we need to import the game constants yeah that's what I'm that's what I'm waiting for so this one is in IO then that's in IO so let's import IO I oh come on thank you right that's that done and then game constant should be okay right so let's see what errors we've got let's close that down now this so that's going to be maze uh, utils maze right so it's only this workout screen workout color update no idea why that's doing that proof of the pudding looks like it's the extension that's having a problem because that is clearly working. Right, so we are still working. We've just nicely split it up now. So we've got a nice, so we've got game utils, which is gonna include all the, um, get rid of the errors. Game maze, so this is everything to do with the maze. So at the moment we've got the location, work out the array location, work gets what's in the maze array, uh, initializing the array and building the array. Game storage, this is where all the memory's gonna, this is where we're gonna store all the memory stuff. And game constants is the constants. So if it, ha in fact, I mean maze array, Ooh. How am I going to do this? In fact, we'll do a quick search and replace for that. And we'll change it. Oh, I didn't realize I'd got so much. Right, so I need to whole word. There we go. That's what I want. And we'll change it to array. So capitals. I've got this rule that a constant has capitals right at the very start. Yeah. Maze array. 
But it's not a constant, is it? Well, it is. It is. Right, so we'll change all them to be that. Yes, please. Thank you. So we should still work. Excellent. Right, so now we need to, um, in the maze, in here, I mean, even this is, this even this is um, complaining. Hang on, let me shut VS Code down and reload it. Any errors? Oh, it still doesn't like it. The symbol may build mace is already defined. Yeah, that's weird. Anyway, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry too much about it. It's just the extension that's having the problem. Uh, I'm not worrying about it too much. Right, so we need to now um, create uh, a game. So, um, what are we doing? We're setting up the maze for the games. Right, so that's what we call it. Set up maze for game start. Right, so we are, um, so we're going to create a, a, an entrance in the top. Left hand, <laughs> left hand corner, and the exit in the right hand corner. So depending on what how big the the maze is, top top court the two top corners will always be it. So we need to uh, we need to change the um, array, the maze array points at those locations. Yeah. So um, what we need to do is we need to load x with one. LDY with one, so that's effectively one comma one. Uh, just make that a comment, and we need to change it with. We need to. Where's my? We need to say. We need to um, say that it can't, it can't go up. Yeah. No. No, it's got to be going, going. Have I got my numbers the wrong way round? Right, we'll put it, we'll do it as eight, because that's what I've got in my notes, that I set it to eight. But that uh, doesn't sound, that doesn't sound right. So, so we're going to set the carry, and then we're going to load eight. So when it runs in the mate in the thing, our routine. Oh, it stores right. So we need to get first. So we need to get. 
So, um, that's a point. Do I destroy X and Y while I'm in there? Yes, I destroy X and Y. Um, Right. Right. That is so the X and Y is re established, yeah, because the output is only the accumulator. Right, so it means that we can we can do this. Clear the carry. JSR get set get. Do I have to? I didn't think I had to do this. Ooh, where's all those builds coming from? I think the extension's having a bit of a fit. Right, so we get, then we're going to or it, and we'll use the proper thing, so um, direction up, which should be three, and we do P O W open bracket two comma direction up, which will give us the eight. Then we'll set the carry, and then we'll do this again, which will store it back. So that's set in. Um, so that's set in um, one comma one. The next thing is to D E X. So this effectively should, this effectively should be one comma zero. Yeah. So clear the carry and we'll do this all again. So this is uh, preparing the top left hand co corner of the maze. So we're now doing one comma zero and that That is two, what's two? Down. Real? No. Two is right. Okay, I'm happy with that. So this is right. But we're not doing the CLC. 
we're just doing load because we're overwriting what's there so that's parent preparing the top so next one is we'll copy this entire thing so this is preparing the bottom right hand corner of the maze so this is going to be different now because this is going to be um, the max so load with the maximum load with the maximum so this is uh, x now that's what that is y x so I've got here that I've got here that it's the the final court corner is odd with two and then eight. So we are going to oh the or is two is one in. Ah. Oh, that's pants. I've completely misread that. I completely mis I've misread what I've written. Let me just make sure. See. Right, so it's there and there. Okay, okay, let's leave that like that so I can uh, do that. So, what we're saying is. Um, <laughs> yeah they're, they're, they're hovering I should really have a dog cam shouldn't I <laughs> should really have a dog cam Let's, there you go I'll move the mic up so you can see the door there you go how about that so you should be able to see him come in and out they're waiting for the computer to be delivered I bet <laughs> well, he hasn't gone mental on chat yet, so I don't think it's arrived yet. We're all excited, boring. Yes, we are. Right, so. <laughs> Dog navigates the net. <laughs> yeah. Right, I've I've misread my I've misread my notes. So I'm right. I'm I'm right because where's my thing we're 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 producing we're allow we're saying that we can go left and we can go right yeah so let's let's have a look what i did in here cord yeah this is showing how i coded back in the day so let's see if I can figure it out. Right, that's set. No, here we go. J 
jump 170. That's there. So it must be here. I like I've got my variable JD in there. <laughs> right, okay. Jump to 230, which is here. So this is doing its... Where do I jump out then? Where do I jump out? It's got to be there. You know, some... Ah, here we go. Sometimes I wish I'd commented this, but it just takes too much memory. On the C64... Do, 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 do. Um, let's see if we can figure this out. So we're looking for one one zero zero. Here we go. So one one eight two. Okay, that's how I've done it. Okay. So, um, we are storing in maximum and maximum is 8. So, maximum and maximum is storing 8. So, 2 to power up, I think. Oops. Oh, come on, John. That's it. Store it. Then we are um, then we are DXing. <laughs> Can you see him? Um. So we're DXing. So we're we're moving to. That's not right. In fact, this is Iron X. Because we're moving outside of the matrix. Ooh, that sounds scary, doesn't it? We're going to... Hey up, mate. What do you want? So we're DXing, which is now on the limit of the maze. Right. Okay, and that should do it. So this is actually plus one. And then this one here. your mind up mate what do you want hey what's the matter hey you're right go on then go on go on where's your brother where's your brother so that one's going to be Maze X, Maze Y and Maze X. Okay, so, so this is preparing the array, but then we need to convert the prepared, prepared, preparedness of the array into on screen. So we need utils, 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 because I want to check something in utils. Do we destroy X and Y and update? Do we? Do we, do we, do we, do we? Uh, 
Yes, we do. Right, so what I'm going to do then is... Gonna do the same. Right, where's the maze so I can grab the same thing? Whoops, which is that? So we're storing it and we are loading and then here, return. So that's where we want to put it. There we go. Right, that'll keep my X and Y intact while we're doing this. So, then... <laughs> uh, wrong wrong colour, mate. Wrong colour. Right, so once we've set... Once we've set the location, we need to then go JSR utils dot... Um, update screen location we need to do that there we need to do that there and there right Get rid of those. Okay, so we'll put this in here. So we build the maze, then we're going to tell it to maze dot setup for game start. So that should put the two extremes on. Let's see. See if we break it. Ooh, that's not good. Right. <laughs> Thanks, SP, for stating the obvious. <laughs> right. Let's see what we're doing. <laughs> right, let's see what's going on. So, um, did that, has that come straight out? That has, it's not even gone in, has it? Yeah, it's gone straight out, it's come straight out. Didn't even run through. Didn't even run through the build. Right, I'll we'll put a break on the build. Let's see what's going on. I've busted. I've busted. Trust me to bust it. Right, it goes in. <laughs> really? You heard that? Wow, my mic's good. <laughs> it's not me. You don't have to worry about me. It's not me. Stop saying busted. It's not me. Headphones? No, I ain't got headphones. Oh, you. All right. That's re really... All right, okay. <laughs> I'm going gonna, gonna to gonna have to reduce the sense because this new chair seems to be squeaking quite a lot. It sounds like I'm trumping. And I'm not, honest. It's just rubbing against the side of the table. 
It's proper leather. No, it's not me. It's not, it's not me. Yes, it is. Or guffing, I think the other one, but that's a horrible word. Right. Yes, I am polite. I, I, yeah. I have no idea what's going on here. It's running through okay. So he's doing it all right. Right. So that just went straight through. I have broken something. Now, what have I broken? What did I change? I changed the this, didn't I? <laughs> the toot. <laughs> oh dear. What what have I broken? It's gotta be to, it's gotta be something to do with this. Right, I put this in and I put this in. So we'll get rid of this and this. Right, does it work now? Ooh, we're getting there. Now that's not right, okay. So, let's just, let's just remove those. And remove those. There you go, it's working. Why? Why would that stop? Okay, let's put let's put these back in. All I'm doing is trying to preserve the register. Oh, kaboom. Really? Re okay. Fine. Fine. If we want to waste bytes, fine. Hmm. These should be scoped because they're inside this, inside here. So they should be scoped. Let me just. Uh... Oh man, no, no, that is, that is, that is weird. All right, that's, okay. I know what I need to do. Right. So, we're not keeping the state of X and Y. So, we load them in. So, this is going to be X is naught. Y is one. And here is, yep, yeah, that'll do. And then we'll do the same here. But we get rid of that. 
That is weird. Right. We should end up with two ears. And we don't. Have I got my X and Y the wrong way around? Du, 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 du. Let's just check. Um, have I got my X and Y the wrong way around? Get set. Y is the row, X is the column. Y is the row, X is the column. Okay. Y is the row, X is the column. Okay. I should do it. Let's put debug mode on. I want to see what's happening on the array. Right, so it set it there, but it didn't set it there. Can you see that D? Right, if I run it again, and I'll slow it down. And it's too fast. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to even change it. Cool. Right. I'll pause it first. F6. Alt. P. Right. So as you can see here, it says it's E. Yeah. And this is E. These should change. So if I... Oi, John, pay attention to chat. Hang on. I try and Oh, there's a, oh dark theme. Is there a dark theme in there now? Oh, beta four. Right, I'll have to see how he's done that. Nice. Right, distraction squirrel moment. Let's uh, let's bring that down to twenty percent. Right. Oh, so as it's working round, this should change. Yeah. And this, so it's. It did the D, that changed, but this one didn't do it down here. That one didn't do it down there. So, let's see if we can find where it's doing it. Right, it changed there. That is not what I'm expecting. That is not what I'm expecting. <laughs> What's he trying to find? <laughs> so this one did change, but it didn't see it on the screen. Right. And the reason for that is, oh, my Discord. The reason for that is because this needs to be set. We need to set it again here. Oh, I didn't, didn't do it, did I? And we need to do it on the update screen as well. 
So let's grab that, put that there. This is why I wanted it to preserve the Y, X and Y, but never mind. So we'll grab that, put that there, grab that and put that there and there. Right. Right, so we should see changes. Aha, it did it there. It did it there. Did it do it at the bottom? Let's have a look. No. It didn't do it there. So is it still doing it in the wrong place? Let's have a look. That's annoying. Why is 24x is 39? That should do it, but I don't think it is. Right, we will put a breakpoint. I mean, I'm DEX in there and I don't need to. That doesn't need to be there. Right, so we know this one's setting up right. But we'll put a break point there and we'll, we'll run through it. Yeah, so let's see, we're still in debug mode. Oh, would help if I was on the right file. Right, so it should break before we change the top corner. In fact, it's changed it. Oh, we broke. Oh, I see. Right, so we've done that bit's done the top corner there. Yeah, so now we need to change this. So it's eight and E. So we need to change that. So we're going to run through it. So LDX 27, 28, 28, LDY 18. So then it's going to do the lookup. Here we go. Oh, hang on. Where did that change? I didn't see that change. Let's do that again. Right, let's do that again. Yeah, ev every number is, well, every character on that is, is a representation of where it can go and where it can come from. So we're just trying to make the two corners allow you to wander off and wander back, yeah? So I'm just waiting to see Right, here we go. LDO 8, 70. Where's 70 pointing at? So 70 is pointing at 070C. 070C. And I cannot... S oh, they can't see the cells on here. 070C. Right. 070C. That's there, so 8D, 3A, okay. 070C, where on earth is that?
Right. Just, I'm just wondering, it should be here. So they are A and E. So what's going to change? If I press F10, what changes? It should have gone to... Did that store it? O seven O seven C O O seven C O looking in the wrong place for one. That's here. No, it didn't. It didn't store it. Oh, what's Y? Y is twenty eight. Ah. Why is Y twenty eight? Oh. Of course. So that. That. I bet that's off. Where's the, where's the memory map? Hang on. That's the plus four. I don't want a plus four. I want the Commodore. Oh, I just wanted to see the image. Give me the image. Well, that's good. I can't even read that. Right. Where's me book? Screen map. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what 07CO is. Where it is. I just need the picture of the map because normally it has it on there. Um, which book would it be in? Which book would it be in? Pro, uh, can it be in the programmers, wouldn't it? Programmers one. It's got to be in the index. There we go. Skull of look right five seven two. Come on, John. Cool, even that is small. Right, what's O O seven C O? One nine eight four. That's there, plus 20, plus 28, it's off the screen. That's why we don't see it. It's off the screen. Yeah, it's off the screen, it's just updated it down here somewhere. That's the problem, so I've got me uh, end screwed up. Right, so let's work this out again. So this is where it's storing 8. So I'm increasing 39. Right, so let's not do that. And let's do DX here. So that's doing that. And then here it's doing minus one, minus one, minus one. Right, let's try that again. Just 
So it should stop. So the top should get done. There it is, it's done. Both those two was changed. So now we're looking for these two here. These two at the bottom down here. They're the two we want to change. So let's see if it does it now. Right, here we go. Store eight in 70. One too far. It's stored. It did this bottom corner. Yeah, one too far. We are way off base there. Right, so as well as being... Right, so I need to minus one off Y. So it's minus one off Y, and we're doing the same here as well. There, and there. Right, let's see if that does it and if it does we will try and see if we've got ears we'll take debug mode off and see if we've got ears <laughs> so those two changed so it's these two at the bottom here so where I've got that crosshair right so I'll step through it so we should see the E change so here we go, we should see the E change, and it does. And then the next one is the one next to it. So it's doing the colour now. Here we go. So this is going to change it now. So we've just loaded it. Now we're ordering it with four. That makes it five. And then we're going to store it. So here we go. Get ready. L yeah, L5 store. So that A. So we're looking for this A down here to change. Gotcha. Bingo, bingo, right. Let's turn the debugger off and run it normally. So we should end up with some ears. Oh, and I've left the breakpoint in, haven't I? Where is the breakpoint? Right. Right, so it ladies and gentlemen, six thousand five hundred and two kebab has entered the chat. It's been a while since we've heard that. <laughs> it's been a while since we've heard that. I've got some, I've got some of those. I ain't made them into mute, into, hang on. Um, where are they? Well, 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 look who's joining the stream. Please put your hands together for the one and only top below. The man himself, old school coder. <laughs> I am. I ain't done that yet. <laughs> I got to put that in, ain't I? Right. So we know the. We know that. Yeah, that's what it sounded like. Top gloped. <laughs> hang on, I've got another one. Hang on.
Hello, and welcome to another Old School Coder stream. I now introduce the man who mastered his craft as a young boy, the one and only Top Below Old School Coder. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, it does it does sound like Top Globe, doesn't it? Right. So, um It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not updating the screen. You've <laughs> just Google gloat. <laughs> um, it's not updating the screen location, which is worrying. So, um... So, let's have a look. Let's put a break point there. See what it's doing. Right. So, we're going to we're just going to try and see what it's doing, why it's not putting the ears on. So, we're building the map, all right? Right. So, it's here. So this is where it should be. Um, storing the character. See what it's doing. Certainly doing a little, here we go, load 70, 04, here we go, so we store it away, and it, branch if equal, and it with 01, it's not equal to that, it's not equal to 8, so it should put CF, oh, 74, where is 74? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 4, 0, 8. That sounds about right. So store CF in 0, 4, 0, 8. So which cell changes? It's not on the screen. It's not on the screen, is it? It didn't put it. 74040A. No, it didn't do it. It didn't do it. Now, I th when we build the maze, I think we put the colour on separately. Hang on, let me just check. Jump to store location. Yes, here we go. So we put the colour on separately. So let me put the colours on. Is it 04 away? Uh, sorry, 04, 04 AO. We'll have a look at it again in a minute, mate. So, update screen, colour, update screen, colour, update screen, colour, update screen, colour. Um, but I don't want to... Alright. Okay. 
Well, let's see if we can see that, yeah? I wish we could hover over a cell and it tell us what, what number it was. Does it do that anywhere? No, it doesn't, does it? It doesn't tell us what column we're out. No. Right. So, let's... Uh, it would be nice, yeah. Right, so let it let it run through its stuff, and we'll just confirm where it's going to store it. Right, so here we go. So it's 74. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's 04 AO. Right? So we store it, and then we're going to make it yellow. Oh, he's put it there. Why is it put it there? Is that 04 AO? Right, 04 AO is a space. Uh, let's put zero there. That's there. Why is the yellow there? Oh, hang on. What's Y set? Oh, Y set to 04. No wonder. Move the raster pointer. Oi, John, pay attention to chat. Move the raster pointer. What, this? Does it tell us where we are? The, the crosshairs in the raster. Oh, the crosshair is the raster. Yeah, but it doesn't tell us what uh, what cell we're over though, does it? Yeah, but that's there because Y's got four in it. That's the point there, but that even that's wrong. That should be up here. That should be up there. Update screen. What's it doing? I forgot what it does. Right, load max. Oh, it's loading max x. Ah, I see why it's not working. I see why it's not working. Okay. Uh, um. I see why it's not working, because we are looking at Max, uh, Maze X and Maze Y. Um, okay, that's fine. I can live with that, because we don't need it. Right. So, um, so it's here. So, ooh, 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 ooh.
Right, that works there, so that means that'll be updated properly. This one. Do that. And this one. Store there. And that one, store there as well. That should... That should put us right. Come on. I want to get move I want to get moving around this maze. Right. I want to get moving around this maze. Come on. We need the start and end point putting in. Right, so it's loading it, CF, store it in 74, so what's 74? Come on, it's got to be right now. There we go, that's better, 0428. There. No, that's still wrong. <laughs> that's still wrong. Oh, no, no, that's right. That's right. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> right, this is right, but the characters are wrong. That means we've got the wrong thing in there. So, um, that needs to be there, and that needs to be there. We need to swap them over. And the same with that. The same with that. So, uh, da, 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 da. so we need to swap them over. So we'll get rid of the breakpoint. So this needs to be uh, right. That needs to be up. Oh dear, this should do it. Oh, hang on. No. That's right, that's wrong. That's right, that's wrong. So we're looking at the zero. We're looking at the one zero. One. So let's get the first top corner done. So the one zero, which is this one, need to put. I'm glad it only takes two seconds to build this map, not sixteen. Wrong way round. Because we're going right, aren't we? We can only move right. But that's still not right. Oh, it's not that, is it? It's that one. It's the one in. It's the one in, I think. Yeah, it's the one in. That one's... That one's right. That one's right. It's this one that's wrong. Right, okay. So that just needs, that just need. what's there? That, that's 1-1, one, one, isn't it? What's being used in 1-1? One, one? Right, so that's got, that's up. It's got to be up.
Two, wrong one. But even that's not right. There's only one more that's left. <laughs> there we go that's correct that is right now so this one is wrong that that one's right I think that one's wrong That needs to be um, that needs to be up. So that's the X. That's the end one. That's the end one. So this is uh, da, 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 da. this one, isn't it? So we need to do that, and then we'll look at the other one in a minute. Have I done the same thing again? I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? Up. It's right, it's right. And that one's up. So this is not quite right. In fact, that's not right anyway. Uh, uh. So we want the opposite of that. So whatever's in there, we need to opposite. Which is not there. that one left I thought I put left in there but I never have right here we go That looks okay. Let's load, let's do it again. That looks okay. Yeah. Here we go, this is the sort of thing I was looking for. No, that went wrong. That went wrong. Um, okay, so um, what are we doing for that one? Um, so we fixed that one, it's this one. So we're putting up, uh, okay, it's um, Left. Left. I think that's the one. So I did it okay there. Do it again.
Do it again. There we go. No, it's still it's still not doing it right. It should keep what was there and it's overwriting it. That's right. That's right. Do it again. That's right. See, that's gone. That went. That's done it wrong. Because we had a we had a line here, and it's overwritten it. It's overwritten it. Um. So. Um, Basically, what we're we saying, we're saying that we cannot. We're saying here that we are saying that the p right, right. We're saying that we can go right. That's what we're saying. That works, that's okay. Right, do it again. Ah, that works. Okay, I'm happy with that one, do it again. Yep, yeah, do it again. Yep, yeah, do it again. Do it again. Come on, I want a horizontal exit. Yeah, horizontal please. Oh, that's that's all of them. Yeah, we've got it nailed. Hooray, we got it nailed. Nice. Excellent. Right. So that is. Um, so that now is now that's the build set up. Yeah, we we've got the build set up. So we've got our entry point and our exit point set up. So when we start navigating the map, we know that we can go in those directions. Yeah. So what we need to do now is uh, we need to create another routine that. So the same as the um, initializing our map here, our array with zero, we need to create another one that clears out. So this is um, Clear, um, retrace, maze array. All right. So basically, we need. So gotta get rid of that. So we need to do this. So what we need to do. <laughs> doesn't doesn't it um, doesn't it give you a progress like Amazon do where they say you are two stops away
Right. So here... So we're now clearing the retrace. Now clearing the retrace. So we'll put debug back on. So F6. Right, so that's, so we've just cleared out the retrace. So basically this is saying, this array now is telling us where we can go and where we can't go, all right? So, so we're going to create a new file called um, game player, and in there we are going to stick all the includes that we need. In fact, we'll just grab all of that lot, and then dot namespace layer so um, what we can do now is um, we can effectively so the the the, the, um, the very f so the very first the very f oh my 50 f that's not that's not 54 minutes Right, so this little um, block here, the purple block, if I can remember, there we go, that's me, yeah? So I'm moving backwards and forwards, yeah? And that's what we need to do in the first it iteration. So if we're gonna try and follow this, this is what we're gonna do. So left and right was that, and up and down is that, yeah? So that's what we're going to try and do. We're going to navigate our maze array with this, and then we're going to um, in, we're going to inter interpret the maze uh, array, and then we're going to use the maze array to to draw redraw to draw the screen. Well, that's not going to be in this because all we're doing is just changing the color. But we, this is the exercise of whether we've got our maze array correct so we can um, uh, move around. So what we need to do is um, test for characters, I suppose. And I don't think I've got them in here. No. So let me grab... Um, let me grab another file from somewhere else. So what would be a good nick from cassette 50 core. We need constants. Is it in there? Is it in there? Yes, it is. So we'll grab it from him there. So um, we've got IO constants. I can suppose I could put it in there. Yeah, we'll put it in there. So let's grab all this lot. And we'll grab them as well while we're here. And I need that. I don't think that's already in here already. No, it isn't. Right, so we're just going to 
we're, going, we're just going to check the keyboard. So we're going to use the same controls as before, which is A for up, Z for down. Um, Oh, we haven't got greater than or less than. Where's greater than or less than? Oh, it's comma and full stop, isn't it? Yeah. So, comma, full stop. Right, so we're going to use those characters to migrate. So, we are starting. Um, so, uh, player. Um... So we are starting at one. So position X and uh, I and X position Y. So that's where we are initializing. And so basically it's So we need to we need to grab this. Oh it's in utils, isn't it? Ooh. Um now we'll copy this. I don't I don't I don't want to mess around with this, so we'll copy this. Ah, I don't know don't see why. Work out colour. Right, we'll create a, we'll create another one of these. So we don't need to do that. We'll do the screen and we'll do the color. So that's that. So that's working out the screen and color. We don't need to do any of that. Right. not update is it we're not doing an update we are working out player location that'll do so that sets up the screen and the color if we need it right so in player and we're using pause y and we're not using pause x because that's what we need back. So, POSX. No. So, uh, JSR utils dot workout player location. So, this is working out where we are. So, we're initializing where the player is. So so that's sort of that. So it's putting it's putting the player 
in the um, um, the corner. So in fact, we could, I suppose. Come uh, why? So. Right, so that should, right, let's put that on there. JSR player, oh. Should do it. Player dot initialize player. Right, that should put a purple, oh, I've left debug on, haven't I? That should put a purple marker where we're starting. In fact, it's not, it's put it one in. So, why would that put it one in? That's because I've done that. Do, 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 do. Where's my player? You should have been on there. Hmm. Ten. What's in seven six? Zero one two three four five six. D A O O. Oh, that's just that's just maddening. Oh yeah, it's of course it's one comma zero in it. Zero, it's zero for X, but one for Y, and that is wrong. That's why it didn't work. X and Y is doing me head in. Right, we're in the right place now. We are in the right place. So now we just need to put the mechanics in for our game loop. So let's create the game loop. So so, so um, So we're going to do everything in the rest after outside the screen. Um, so back in player, let's do the controls. So so we're just doing the keyboard at the moment. All right. So in storage, storage, storage. Let's put a. Let's put a thing here called um, player direction and also, oh no, not player direction. Um, we don't need to do player direction, we need to do player 
Um, action. Now, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Request. That'll do. So um, we are going LDA and we've, oh, we've got some game constants. What did I call it? Or did I put in the IO constants? I put it in the IO, didn't I? Uh, that's the one. KRL jump. So load that, compare it with um, scan code underscore no key branch if not equal to uh, So we're going to do that. If there's no key being pressed, then we're going to drop back out. Right, so. Compare it with scan code underscore, let's do it up, do up, which is A. Branch if not equal to L U eight down key. So we'll do that. Um, compare it with scan code uh, Z. So that's right, and the code for right is comma, uh, no, full stop. Oh, wish you would do that properly. Do the same again. And this time it's comma and branch if not equal to um, to that and that can go this way. Right. So, um, just need to work it out now. So, um, so we're going up. So to go up, we need to check that we can that we can go up. Yeah. So um, what we need to do is we need to evaluate whether we can do that. So load x with position x, ldy with our current position. Keep forgetting to put storage in it. Mm. 
Then JSR uh, map maze dot um, get maze location. And we need to do CLC to tell it we want to do a read. Um, <coughs> then we want to and it with up. So this is power open bracket two comma direction up. And I don't think, no, it did it, it allowed it. So branch if equal, which means It's equal to zero means we can't do anything. So that would go to um, incorrect. Incorrect key press. And the reason why we're going there is because if we're equal to zero, that means we didn't have the end result of yes we can go up now if we can go up then all we have to do is DEC pause why so um, <laughs> I beat you to it, mate. I beat you to it. <laughs> so, um, so this is evaluating that. So, what we need to do here is, um, we work out the player location by initialising it, but. But, 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 but. We need to change, right, we need to change the colour. So let's quite create another one. Um, where player was. Now, um, what do I want to call it? Um, oh, let's just call it set player color, John. Come on. Simple, simples. Set player color. Right, so effectively doing this here. Okay. But we are storing A in, in, Player color, and that's going to be there. So we haven't messed around with the position. We're only loading the position here to set the color. Right, so we can grab that and here we can go, we can get rid of that and then J JSR that and get rid of that. Cool, I like proper coding. So we're doing to do it here because the first thing what we've got to do is um, before we actually do the move, we've got to set the color back to yellow. Yeah. Then we decrease. And what I'm going to do is because we've got no end point here, we'll put an end point here where it's um,
we'll do that. So we do that and then we jump to set show new player position. So it's just a case of doing it for everything else. So we're going to do that like that. Do the lot. So this is to evaluate going down. And going down means we are increasing our Y position. Put them in anyway, like that. So this is left. So no, this is right. So we're going right. And this time we are increasing our X because we're going that way. And this is left. And we are decreasing our Y position, uh, our X position. And we don't need that because that's there. Right. So JSR player dot player controls right let's see what happens so we're there so a z left and right can we right I'm going right Oh my god, that is quick. <laughs> that is quick. <laughs> I can't hit it. Oh, gonna have to do. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna need a delay. Yes, SP, we're gonna need a delay. Now, how are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? Um, is my version still running, or if I shut it down, or oh, I shut it down? Um. Let's go back into it. Oh no, that's the original one. No, 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 not that. Uh, that one. So what did I, what was I doing for this? Right, so if I press left, what happens? All right, so it it is. Right, here we go. I'm going to go down. Here we go. Here we go. So there is a delay. There is a delay. Um Have we got another long bit coming up? I mean, I could make it that you have to press the keys anyway. Right there. But I think making it just one key should be enough. We just need to do a delay. So, um, how are we going to do that? Um, so, the, the way I'm thinking is that instead of... Instead of evaluating, instead of evaluating play controls on every cycle, that we, um, like we do in anim animation, we bypass it. Um, so let's create a player 
timer. So, um, I mean, we could have it as part of the difficulty as well. So, player, timer, reset. The, the harder difficulty. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea, John. So, the harder difficulty, it means that there is no... That is hard, yeah? You've got to be precise. <laughs> oh, that's mean. That is mean. But it means that we can, we can do it. So I've just put in um, player timer. So um, player timer reset. So in the player, when we set up the player, depending on their... So depend... Pen, on the player difficulty difficulty level set the timers appropriate pro create set the timers appropriate that'll do so um, so let's say that currently we we evaluate every half second so that's um, 25 because it's 50 frames a second isn't it store that in the reset store that in the timer Well, Microman hasn't gone bonkers on the chat yet, so I presume it's still not here, mate. <laughs> yeah, it's surf mode. <laughs> yeah. Right, so. Um, decrease. St storage. Dot. Play, um, player storage dot player timer. Now, I'm not sure if we can test. Let me just get the um, six five zero two instructions up. I'm not too sure if de DEC sets. thingy flag oh it does good 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 so we can test for that so um, if it's uh, branch if not equal to zero to <laughs> game loop if it is equal to zero then the first thing we do is we load storage dot player timer reset store it in storage dot player timer evaluate the controls right let's see if that slows down for us <laughs> waiting biting nails <laughs> right hopefully this is going to slow it down that's better. Right, let's see if we can get to the end. So I'm looking ahead. So it looks like it's that way. And it's not allowing me to go past the walls, which is a good thing. I 
I think I've gone the right way. Yeah, mate. Well, that's where the difficulties come in. Because this would be easy mode, yeah? And I'll explain what I mean. But this is testing out the mechanics of navigating the maze and it seems to be working okay. There we go, that's where we would end. Oh, it flashes on and off. Right, so we've just tested the mechanics of navigating the maze, yeah? So we are, we are using the maze data, the maze array data to navigate the maze and it's, it's worked. We, I could not walk through any of the walls I couldn't go anywhere. I mean, even now I'm on the edge and I can't carry on going. It won't let me, but it'll let me go back. Yeah. Um, but this, this, the, the plan is, is that we have um, various levels. So this could be the easy mode on easy timings and then have hard on easy where the player is zipping around, you know, like on ice, it's on ice. Then normal mode, what I want to do is I want to have um, something like this. I want to um, let's see if I can find it on the web. Right, so this is effectively the easy mode, yeah? And then uh, what I want to do is, do do any of these pictures have it? Um, oh, I thought there might have been a game with what, with what I'm expecting to be in. Um, there isn't. Okay, so what I was what I was hoping for was like in this picture here. Yeah, this picture here. Oh, we didn't want to do that. So Go away. See. Oh, that's a video. It's not a picture, is it? I asked for a picture. We'll use this one. Right, so like that, and I can't zoom in, can I? There we go. So like this, we so in normal mode, in normal mode, we would have half the screen showing the 3D-ness of the map, and then in this half of the screen would be the map itself, and it would scroll depending where you are. So you would see a proportion of the map where you are. And then you would, as you navigate through the 3D map, that's um, this section is updating, showing you where you are within the confines of the map. And then hard mode, right, would be the 3D effect and no map, right? So you get to see the map build, and we'll, we would pause it. So the user could then try and memorize <laughs> the way to the end, yeah? And then it would go, end, no, no, no map. And then they have to navigate without the map, yeah? It may be too hard to do that. And we may have to allow, we may have to have them, uh, allow them to have um, a peek at the map, yeah? And have that they could have several peaks at the map, and then that's got that once they've run out of the peaks, that's it gone. So that that's the plan: is that this has 
three different versions of a map, 3D map. So you've got the normal 2D map, which is this. So we have the normal 2D map, which is you with the map in front of you, and you've got to figure it out. And what we'll do is in the top here, we'll have a clock, we'll have a timer. So you're, 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 you're racing against time. <laughs> but we'll, ha we'll have a timer up here. So you're, you are against time trying to get to this other side. And we'll have timers on the other, um, on the other modes as well. But this would be the easy mode, and then there's various difficulties within the easy mode. So three games in one, so to speak. So this is game one with easy, medium, diff hard. And the, diff the, the difficulty difference is the fact that the controls, you know, on hard, you've got to be precise with the keys, like, like what happened when we first did it. The second game is half. So we would have here the map showing, yeah, and here would be the 3D version of it. Make the easy mode map a spiral. <laughs> I mean, we could, <laughs> we could. We just have to change the way the map builds because you don't want it doing that. You're going to have to have some openings in there and stuff like that. But we, it could be done. Uh, but like I say, the second phase would be 3D here, the map here. So a snapshot of the map. And say it's centred on you. So as you're moving, that map is moving as well with you. So you see around. Yeah. And we could have varying difficulties on that. Like um, on hard mode. You would you would only see a small small part of the map, yeah. So you could see say only four blocks in any direction around you. So we could do we could affect we could do that, which would then mean it would be even harder for the person to know because they would only see a tiny snapshot. So easy would see a lot of the 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 maze. Uh, medium would see a lot less and hard would be even less and then on the third one which is the full-blown 3d maze is you would only see the 3d maze and 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 possibly allow them to have some jokers <laughs> yeah, we have, I mean, yeah, we, we could do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could. We could do that where they've only got a flashlight, so they only see in front of you. God, that would be that would be horrible. But there's also there's other things as well, like adding bad guys into the maps like with the with the original I, I noticed there was a picture of it i noticed there was a picture of it um the original where is it where is it here the original 3d monster maze yeah where we could have bad guys in the map yeah now on in this mode we would have a different color square that would be roaming the map yeah trying to find you and we could have more than one you know and 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 so as well as it's not only you on here we would have you know like i say ro roaming bad guys but this <laughs> You you could be a dog walker avoiding poop. <laughs> dear. Oh dear. 
Yeah, we could put a special Microman version on that, I suppose. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, this is this is the whole point of this. I mean, it's you can't find the way to you can't find the way to get out of that maze. Really? Are you sure? Let's have a look. Oh, I think I can do it. Yeah, this is this is a thirty-eight by twenty-three, so it's the biggest one we could we would be able to make. And I've gone the wrong way. I think it's this way. Super hard is there no turning back. Yeah, I mean we can add all this functionality in that once you, yeah but the problem is not turning back means you would never you would never get out to be honest. I think this is gonna go the right way. Cool dear, this is testing my skills at this game. Yeah, I think this is I think this is the way to do it. I'm good at maze puzzles. I'm good at maze puzzles. That's why I like this game. There you go. All sorted. Hey mate, um we've been talking about this, right? This at the moment, we are we've we've just com we've just figured out how to get the maze to auto generate. Yeah, each maze, um, each maze is unique. Yeah, so we've now got the program to build the maze, and we've just written the code that allows us to navigate the maze. Yeah, <laughs> ship it. Yeah, what the this game is going to be. A game of three so so this is the 2d easy mode game yeah so it would be a 2d uh, easy mode and the difficulty is we've just been talking about adding bad guys and um, making the controls a little bit more scary so at the moment we've made the controls easy but we could do what we what uh, do it here so we could make it a little bit more scary like this so you need to be a woo I'll put 75 in that there we go so now that it should be a bit harder to control yeah you got to be real Precise, ooh, precise with the controls. <laughs> ooh, 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 come on. <laughs> and this ain't even on the fastest. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, we've we've got we've got many ideas that we could put into this. So. There's going to be three games. So there's a 2D version, which you've just seen, which is what we've just managed to do after two episodes. Yeah. Then the net, the second game would be having a 3D representation of the map where you are and seeing the map next to it on the screen. So as you're moving in the 3D space, the map is moving around you so you can see where you are, but you don't see the whole thing. 
and then the third game is full 3D immersion and you don't see the map. You have to figure it out. So you see the map get built. Yeah. So you see the map get built. We'd leave it there until you're ready. And then once you're ready, it disappears. And you only see the 3D view of it. And then you have to... Um, will the randomized routine make the map the same every time you run it? Well, look. Let's, let's test it, right? Let's test it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it straight off the bat. Here we go. So I'm running it straight off the bat. We'll let it do it. And then we'll take a snap. We'll take a quick snippet of it. All right, so we've got a snippet of it. And then we'll run it again. All right. And let's see if we get the same map again. Well, I'm telling you now, we don't. Look at that. It's different. Even though I've run it exactly the same way. Alright. Now, I uh, let me let me um, move that out of the way. My my kid version. This is my kid version. So it takes a lot lot more time to do it. Yeah. I think this produces the same map again and again and again. And as you see, it's a lot slower doing it because I didn't know everything that I do now. Now, as a kid. So we'll just do a quick snapshot of that. And then we'll run it again. Right. Can you see? It's the same. So my my randomization skills when I was younger I had not as good as what I know now. But like I say, this is I wrote this when I was what um eighteen? Somewhere around there. Eighteen. And now, on this one, we have a different map every time we run it. There you go. So, we'll just do it again, just to make sure it wasn't a fluke. Do it again. There you go. It's different. So it runs differently every time. Oh yes, yes. It's a we we did a tight we did timing on it, Doctor, earlier. Um, this takes two seconds to do. It takes sixteen seconds when I, the the code I wrote as a kid. Yeah, so we've managed to um, so we've managed to fix the problem that we had last week. Where um, call that blue and that blue and red really does the eyes. Let me change the screen color. Um, what did what did I use in these? What did I use here? Yeah, I'm going to change it, mate. I'm trying to think what colours. 
This is the instructions. No, 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 no. Ah, there it is. That's the colour. So five is green, isn't it? Yeah, that's five. Uh, da, 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 da. It's BG colour, isn't it? One. Uh, border, border colour. Oh, what's... <laughs> Background colour green. I haven't got that, mate. I've forgotten what... Oh, BD colour. Border colour. Border colour. Right, so that should be like the kid one. There we go. That looks better. But yeah, it's a lot quicker. I like it. I like it a lot, to be honest. It's a lot quicker. You're not having to wait for it, which is really, really good. Two seconds to do that. Black and white, please. <laughs> um. That better? So, <clears throat> um, so that's, yeah, I mean, it goes yellow as, like I say, when you progress, it goes yellow. Yeah. Oh, the speed's too fast. Hang on. Let's put the speed back. I mean, it goes yellow when you, um, as you traverse the maze, so you know where you've been. Yeah. So, what we're gonna do is. In the in the next stream is we let's try and um, put in some um, AI bad guys, yeah. So you know we have guys in here and we yeah yeah we'll, we'll mess around with the colours for the players and all that. But if we put some bad guys in there that just are just wandering the maze um, with no specific target in mind they're just wandering then um, we can um, we can then start uh, testing for you know whether they've caught you or stuff like that and then we can <laughs> <laughs> just like people <laughs> um, and then we can start um, incorporating that in all the different mazes so this is sort of developing the foundation of the, the, the game this is the foundation of the game what you're seeing is the foundation the maze matrix that allows us to navigate the maze then we have the the characters in the, the bad guys in that matrix using the same navigation system to navigate around um, and and we'll give me some ideas of the types of a the types of AI you know do we have targeted bad guys that are you know if that if you're anywhere within striking distance from they that's it their that their sole their sole goal in life is to get you uh, have uh, some other AIs that are just wandering for no apparent reason and stuff like that then what i was thinking for the um you the 3d part of it was i know i spotted a game because i was looking at some games like this one here right where oh let's turn that off i mean look it's a basic program as well 
Um, and what it does, it generates like here. I mean, look at the simpleness of that. But the clever bit I liked was it draws the walls as walls. Yeah. Oh, come on. Let's pause it. Right. So it draws the walls literally as walls because there is a place to go on. There is a place. And I thought this was a pretty impressive way of displaying this maze. Right. Because our walls are thin. Yeah. And if we can represent that in a 3D way like that, I would be really, really pleased with that. I don't know about you. I think we could, to try and recreate this style of um, map building, because there's other styles of map building, which is, um, let's, let's stop that. Let's go back. Which is which is this one? So let me let me see if I can find another one. Where's the other one? It was this one, yeah. Yeah, we don't want the advert. Right. So, oh, I mean, these. This is having a very. They stole my idea. <laughs> Dear, <laughs> are you sure? Prove it, mate. Prove it. Take a picture of it and put it on Discord. Stole my idea. Anyway, let's get. Cause this one, look, this is dust solid. Lot, right? It does solid walls. And I don't want to do that. This, this, that's what it not. It, it's not. You know, like there. It's. I don't want to do this. I, 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 li I quite like the. This effect. I quite like this effect where you see you're sort of seeing round a corner. Like that. So you're sort of seeing round the corner. And I think that's what the sort of 3D aspect that I... <laughs> oh, Microman, I'm so sorry, mate. I thought, I thought it had arrived. <laughs> So, this is the sort of... Right, let's get back to that picture there. That's the sort of 3D representation I would be looking looking at. You know, as, as, we're, as we're progressing through the maze. This is the sort of 3D representation I want to see. And this is what, I suppose, this is what we're going to try and achieve. Um... Yeah, yeah. This is the sort of thing I want to try and achieve, yeah? So, but this is way down the line when we get to the 3D aspect of it. Let's get the foundations of the maze. Uh, the, we've, we've got the maze building working and it works really quickly. And we've proved that it works in different sizes as well. Just to, just to show the guys what we mean. Um, so game storage so if we want say a maze that's half the size yeah so we do that and there you go build it half the size doesn't have to be on that way it could be um, like that Yeah, so it's just a way of trying to represent, oh, put 29, not 39.
Yeah. So this is a, a, a and so our maze built our maze algorithm and our maze building algorithm can work at any any size. You know, if I mean if you wanted a five by five, alright? Let's do a five by five. Five by five. This will be instant. Boom. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Can it do a 1v1? One one? Okay. Are you just testing my programming ability, mate? There we go. 1v1. One one. Does it do it? No. <laughs> oh, dear. I think I think the the minimum it can do is a three v three. I think that's the absolute minimum. No, doesn't like three v three. Okay, so four v four. No. Oh, it's cost the starting point, isn't it? Oh, hang on, it's cost the starting point. Let's start it at two, two, there we go. So we should be able to do a four before. Yeah, so we can do a four before. Can we go down to a three by three? Yeah, there you go, three by three. So it's just the starting point of the maze. Um, but typically it will be 39 by 24 like so so um, so today we've managed to fix the, the maze building al algorithm and the retracing um, we've We've managed to, we've got a game, effectively. The only thing that we haven't got is, we are, we're not testing for the end, you know, when you get to the end, and there's no timer, like in my original one. But the timer in my original one was wrong anyway, right? Because, um, let me get my stopwatch out. Right, so it's on timer, so here we go. So as soon as it starts, I'm going to start this. God, it's taking ages. Come on. There we go. So that's at two. So we're at four, five, six, seven. I don't know if you can see that. So as you can see, my um, the the timer on the my timer on the 64 is out. It's slow. I mean that's just hit 30 seconds, and we're on what 37. So yeah the timer on when I when I built this as a kid isn't isn't doesn't work yeah it's too slow so we need to we need to build the timer into this but like I say um, we can that that's something that we can put in uh, in the next stream because it's half past 11 here so um, so we need in so in the and so we've done the, the, the user interaction and we've got it navigating the maze array correctly. So we don't go through walls. We know where the um, end is. Um, so next, next time, timer, bad guys. So we need ideas for bad guys. You know, do we have just wandering ones that just wander around? Or do we have um, targeted bad guys where p the, the guys are once, once you're within a certain read range that's it the try and get to you um and other types of um hazards 
for a better word, I suppose, hazards. Um, and then once we've got that done, that, that can also translate in the 3D versions because we could Yeah, yeah, because I think, yeah, you're right, Pac-Man. One ran away, always ran away, didn't they? One was always after you. Another one was just wandering the aisles, didn't know what to do, and well, I'm not sure what the last one did. Oh, that 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 went for you when it, when it, when you got close to it, wasn't it? Yeah. So we could have something like that. Um, and also... And then when we go into the 3D space, we could have, this is this is me thinking way out there, whether we can do it or not is a different matter. We could have, like in the 3D Monster Maze on the ZX81, where they had the T-Rex slowly coming to you as, you know, when he was there. We could, we could do that and have um, graphics for these bad guys that suddenly appear. So as you're in the 3D space, you... Um, if you don't move and they're moving towards you, you would slowly see them get bigger and bigger and bigger. So, I think we've done, I think we've done really a, a, a lot of uh, fixing and getting it working. I'm really pleased it's working and it works quick. And it's different every run, which I really wanted as well. So, yeah. I think that's a good place to stop and we'll and and we'll take and we'll take it from there. Um I'm hoping you're liking this because this is the different way of building a game. I'm not like um Shallon who's a complete master at this. But you know, these sort of games I love doing. The the, the traditional types. And trying to make them a lot better than I did when I was a kid is even better. So, Macroman, still no show of your toy, eh? Can't be much time left on it. It has to show up in the next hour. Oh, it's got to, mate. Got to. All right then, guys. Um, let's call it a day there. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. I hope it's taxing the brain for you guys, as well as me. And I will see you on the next stream. All right. Take care, everybody. Thank you very much. Bye. I'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.